Local 3 Sports with Tori Thorne. Postseason high school hockey has arrived in Michigan and we had two big matchups in regional semifinals today up in the Copper Country with Hancock facing Jeffers and Houghton facing off with Calumet. Let's head up to the John McKinnis Student Ice Arena in Houghton for the first matchup between Houghton and Calumet. This one started slow, but less than a minute left in the first period, Houghton on a power play. Connor Arco corrals it behind the net and finds Michael Mallette, who scores from short range, and the Gremlins would take that lead into the second period. Until another power play for Houghton leaves Tanner Flax open for the long wrister. That puts the Gremlins up two to nothing. But Calumet still hanging with them. Less than a minute left in the period. Luca Matus gets all alone on the breakaway, uses the back of his stick to score one for the Copper Kings, and it was two to one heading into the third period. Then midway through three, Calumet loses control, leaving Flax to set it up for Jack Sayan for the goal. That puts Houghton up three to one. Then late in the third, Calumet gonna try to go empty net, but they're gonna give the puck back to Houghton, leaving Flax, who's there to make them pay. The goalie unable to get back in time, and Houghton holds on to win this one 4-1. to one. Yeah, they had a big momentum uh, with the goal and the power play, and I felt like they carried some momentum until the second power play. And then finally we were aggressive and we got active, and that, that second kill I thought gave us, gave us some momentum back. And we had to buckle down. We had two tough penalty kills, and um, we, found, we found a way to gut it out. Some guys have been sick this week and fighting the flu, and so um, it, was a, it was a good uh, R factor by us to dig down and, and find a way to win it. Let's head now to the second matchup between the Hancock Bulldogs and the Jeffers Jets. Hancock would get a 1-0 lead in the first 10 seconds, but we'll pick up later in the first. A pass across the ice finds Tevin Stuckel all alone. He makes a nice move and gets it to go. Hancock goes up 2 to nothing, but Jeffers not going down without a fight. Brogan Turner going to secure the puck, makes a great pass in front of the goalie, finding Trayton Hellman in for the score, and it would be 2-1 to one heading into the second. Then in the second period, Bennett Sturos going to show off his speed, racing ahead of the defense. He finishes it off with the goal to make it 3-1 to one Bulldogs. Then still in the second period, some Jeffers penalties gives Hancock a 5-3 advantage, and they capitalize. Luke Mikola sneaks it under the crossbar. That'll make it 4-1. to one. Both teams would score a couple more times late, but ultimately not enough for Jeffers as Hancock holds on to win this one 6-4.